Hello guys, welcome to Joseph IT Technology Entertainer. Today I'm going to show you how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on Excel sheet easily. So first of all, I'm going to Excel sheet and as you can see, I'm on Excel and for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to the middle of the page and going to take three columns and some rows there. Okay, I'm going to border them. Okay, all border. Now I'm just going to mark those first one A, then B, and this total. Okay, and selecting them and taking them at the middle. Okay. Now first of all, first one is addition. So I'm just going to type suppose 25 plus 45. Okay, and I'm just going to expand those. For the demonstration purpose okay now what I need to do in order to add 25 and 45 I just have to type is equal to sign then the first bucket and then 25 I have to click on 25 plus sign and then 45 and I have to close the bracket and then simply press enter and as you can see the total of 25 and 45 is 70 now what I'm going to do I'm just going to type some random numbers okay and as you can see I have typed some numbers and I'm going to add them like the first one but I'm not going to do the thing I have done at the first time what I'm going to do as you can see on the right bottom corner you are finding a dot simply click there and drag your mouse to bottom and leave it and as you can see all the totals of the numbers are at the right side okay the totals are there and this was the addition and then I'm going to subtract again typing number suppose 100 and then 55 I'm going to subtract it the same process is equal to sign first bucket choosing 100 minus sign and then 55 okay and then closing the bracket again and enter it is 45 and by the same way I'm just going to type some random numbers okay now by the same way what I'm going to do I'm not just not following the same process I'm just going to the right bottom corner clicking there and dragging to bottom and those are the results as you can see and I think you could get it the easiest way to subtract addition and sub subtract to okay then I'm just going to multiply I'm just typing two numbers 26 into 12 suppose and then typing the same way is equal to sign first bucket first one multiply it by 12 and then closing the bracket again and enter and as you can see now I am just again going to type some numbers a day okay now what I'm going to do the same process clicking on the right of the first result then dragging to the bottom and the results are there before you and the sales are being decreased I'm going to increase those again border all borders okay and now I'm going to show you divisions okay same way suppose 100 divided by 4 same process is equal to sign first bucket the first number divided by the second one closing bracket and enter and this is 25 and by the same way I'm just going to type some numbers and doing the same again and those are the results as you could see okay now I think I have shown you the addition subtraction multiplication and divisions too okay now I'm just going to show you 
a simple trick on addition okay I'm on this column and typing some random numbers again and as you could see I have typed some numbers so what I'm going to do I'm just going to simply select all the numbers and going to auto sum as you can see on the screen auto sum and clicking there and the last one is the total as you can see okay the last one is the total this is the easiest one to add all the numbers in a cell and this is the horizontal form I'm just going to show you the vertical form of addition I'm just going to type the numbers again okay and now as you can see some numbers are there and I'm just going to add them so what I need to do I'm just highlighting them selecting them and clicking on auto sum again and the last one is the total and by this way you can quickly add all the numbers in Excel sheet easily and I have I think I have shown the easiest way to add the numbers subtract them multiply and divisions and also the quicker way to add all the numbers in a cell in a column and also in the vertical form too hope you found the video really useful if i get response from you i will make another video on excel sheet too hope to see you in my next video tutorial until then goodbye